In this video we'll look at the automation of Tracer software using the example of creating alarm notifications for email. The first step will be adding your email address to the Tracer software. Please note, depending on your use scenario, we can add email and a script with notifications to the client part of the software or to the server part, it depends on the task. Therefore, before installing, please read the instructions to the script in our knowledge base. In this example, we will install the script on the client side, which means that the client side needs to be running at all times for the script to work. If you want to not be tied to the client's operation, install the script and email on the server. Adding an email account to add an account, open the settings, select automation and click the new email account link. In the account settings, enter the following information. Account name, this can be anything. For convenience, you can specify the full email address. SMTP server address. Here you should specify the SMTP server address of the account you are using. For example, for the email Alex test demo at gmail.com the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. SMTP port, the port on which the SMTP server runs. This port can be found on the help page of the account you are using. User. Here you should specify the username for authorization on the SMTP server. With an email account on Google, the name of the account matches the full email address, in this case it is alextestdemo at gmail.com. Password. In this field you must specify a password for authorization on the SMTP server. The password should be the one used to log into your email through the web interface. Since Google SMTP requires the use of an application password, we need to activate two-factor authentication in the account security settings and create application passwords. To do this, open Google Account Management, activate two-factor authentication in the security section and create an application password. We recommend saving the application password to a Word document, since we will need it later on to add it to the setup. Now we enter this application password in the email settings in the Tracer interface. Ready. To test whether it works, you can create a simple hotkey message activation rule on your computer and check whether the message arrives to the email inbox specified in the test. Configuring notifications using the alarm monitor script is an example. The alarm monitor script, which has a fairly extensive set of features regarding the types of reactions and events to which you need to respond. In this example, let's use the face detection alarm, as well as the neuro detector intrusion alarm. First, in the alarm type section we need to select the alarm by face detector events, tick the box. Then we scroll down through the settings with the mouse. In the event reaction section we need to select, send notification to email send image to email next go to advanced under servers in operation select our required server and under channels check the box next to the channels with facial recognition to select only one server object you must hold down the alt key on your keyboard and click the server name checkbox below in the email settings section specify the account name of your email address in Tracer. This means that you need to specify what you named the account in the email settings inside the Tracer interface. In the next section you should specify the email address of where our notifications will be sent. In this section, of course, we include the full email address along with the domain. Ready. Now we go to the settings of the face recognizer section and in the first field select server. Under the minimum match percentage I recommend using a value from 70 to 85. Then. Depending on the use scenario, select the type of activation by special person, in this case we will need to specify the name of the person. Or activation by group of persons, then we will need to specify the name of the person. Or activation by unrecognized person, this is a person who is not currently in your database, that is a stranger. Or activation by any person, that is we will react to any face recognized. In my case, I will choose activation by any person. Let's check if the script works. In the next example, we will look at notifications sent by neuro detector events. First, make sure that the necessary alarm zones have been created on your channel. To do this, go to channel settings, neuro detector, settings, counting objects, click to create a new counting zone, create a zone with mouse clicks, save control plus enter. I suggest you rename the zone to better understand which zone is being entered and give it a unique name that you can understand. Next, go to the alarm monitor script settings. Check the box in alarm types, object intrusion in neural zone. 
Then scroll to SIMT, Neurodetector settings and select the zone to which you want to respond. In the Neuro Detector settings you can choose how many seconds it takes to ignore the same events to avoid spamming your email. Select Zone in the Object Intrusion Response menu, and use a value between 70 and 85 in the Detector Confidence item. Here you can also set the number of objects to be responded to. For example, respond only to the intrusion of one person in the area or one car, etc. Below there is also a reaction for not only zones, but also for crossing boundaries, that is lines. All the aforementioned rules apply to these settings as well. Check the box to activate who to respond to, it is possible to react to a person, bicycle, car, or animal, depending on which mode of the neuro detector you are using. Ready, check your email. If you were unable to configure something, please contact our technical support using the link in the description https colon slash slash trassier.com slash contacts with support and order a free training session from your manager and our tech coach will contact you. Thanks for your attention.